Hello, what's up again? This is Ali. Alright, so uh, now I'm going to show you how to jailbreak your PS4 from a lower firmware. Alright, so uh, unfortunately up till now uh, our series has been just focused on the 9.0 itself. So I failed to show you steps how to update from if you are on the lower firmware. Alright, uh, first uh, let me uh, provide you uh, or let me just clear this that there is uh, no jailbreak for 9.03 as of now. Though there is a custom firmware that was released um, yesterday or just recently, a few days back. But unfortunately, it does not allow you to do much. Well, I think the developer, uh, it is a Zek I'm sorry, I can't uh, pronounce the name in, uh, correctly. But I think uh, he just released the custom firmware for other developers to come up something with it. But I think we can expect something good in the next few months. Okay, so for now, I will show you how to jailbreak from the lower firmware how to choose the process to jailbreak your PS4 and also the things that we need uh, and also uh, provide you some tips uh, to make it more stable all right so let's go all right so now we uh, will check if our PS4 is still jailbreakable all right so here on the system and on the system information we can uh, see our firmware version here if it says if it says here 9.0 then uh, we can definitely jailbreak our, our PS4 uh, 9.0 or lower right any version that is lower on 9.0 that is still jailbreakable but if uh, we have or if it says here 9.03 unfortunately uh all we can do for now is wait so there is a custom firmware that was uh, released recently uh, but unfortunately we cannot do much about it uh, i think the developer just released the custom firmware for other developers uh, for them to come up uh, to come up with something uh, with that so for now um negative for 9.03 if you're on 9.0 and lower uh, we can jailbreak that so uh, once we have verified if our ps4 is jailbreakable and uh, it is now time for us to prepare that things that we need okay so uh we'll need two usb for this okay so uh first is the one that we'll use to jailbreak our ps4 so uh we can use either a usb flash drive or an external uh, external hard drive uh, as long as it's formatted with the uh, XFAT or FAT32 and also we need a USB and a USB will do uh, for us to uh, activate our jailbreak any size as long as it's working by the way I can uh, definitely um, suggest that if you're going to choose choose a slim one because uh, there are some USBs that is uh, very thick and uh, it's having a hard time to be plugged in thoroughly on the PS4 and sometimes it causes uh, you know errors uh, Every time you uh, every time you jailbreak your PS4. Alright, so uh, let's proceed with the update. I will provide you all of the links that you need on our description, uh, the, um, the the update files and the tools that we need uh, to you know to um, to format your USB dongle. Alright, so um, to get uh, the file that we need, uh, I strongly suggest you to uh, visit this website here. Alright, Dark Software. Because aside from uh, that, we have all the updates here. So we can choose whatever firmware version that we want. Uh, for now, we're going to use 9.0, okay? Uh, aside from the firmware version, we can find a lot of stuff uh, here. We also have a good community here. And uh, you can expect a lot of, you know, um, legit information in this website. Okay, so if you are on a working PS4 already, and uh, what we need is uh, this update file 9.0 the 467 MB size 9.0 all right but if your PS4 is asking for a reinstallation file or you just updated or upgraded your hard drive we're going to need this one the one gig file all right so uh, once we have downloaded the file right actually I have already downloaded the file okay so um we need uh, this is our usb all right so first we have to check the uh the format so we're using the fat 32 and uh here on the root of the usb we're going to make a folder naming ps4 all capitalized all right and uh, inside the ps4 folder we're going to create an update file so here inside the update file we are going to copy and paste all right the file that we need so uh i have already put, uh do, did that earlier so we have uh, to make sure that our file is using this name all right ps4 update okay because sometimes if you are using or if you have uh, 
you know downloaded the file on a different uh, source sometimes you will see a version here at the end of the file name so we have to make sure that uh, uh, we are using the correct uh, file name because uh, if we are using a, a different file name or if we are not accurate with the file name the ps4 will still not recognize uh, the update so um, let's review that so uh, ps4 and update and we paste the file all right so uh, let's go back to the ps4 so we can just a safety plug in your ps4 unfortunately i won't be able to uh, update my ps4 right now because uh, i'm already on 9.0 but we can update our ps4 here on system software update so just uh, plug in your ps4 and always uh all right always uh, carefully check the update file uh, before you press on uh proceed because uh again you, we don't want uh to update our ps4 on a higher firmware all right so um if i'm uh, if you are on the lower firmware you should see here an update has been found and just click on proceed and wait for the process to finish but if uh, you're having some uh, issues here or you're getting a error every time you uh, you update then um you must have or, or you must have uh, you know um disabled your update so we have to enable your update first well to enable your update yeah it depends on the host that you are using um let's uh let's check it here so say for example you're using caro or dark software or whatever um dif different hosts okay so um here first we need to um we need to enable the jailbreak and we have to re-enable the update okay so it uh, it will definitely look different if you're using a different software but uh we'll uh, we'll need the uh, the same tool enable update and once your update has been uh, re-enabled you can uh, proceed with your update and uh, once it's done uh that is the time that we can choose uh, you know the process that we can uh, use to, uh, to jailbreak our ps4 actually we have different process we can uh, jailbreak our ps4 using the windows now we need the uh we need the laptop or pc we can also uh, jailbreak our ps4 using android all right uh, well uh, using an android is actually a good option uh, but for now we are going to use a caro or we're going to use a, way, a, a web host for that okay so uh before we can proceed with the jailbreak i uh, we have to format our usb dongle first okay so we need two files here so uh, the um, the Windows 32 disk imager and the image that we are going to use on uh, our dongle, all right? So uh, once we have downloaded all the files, okay. So uh, you just run uh, the imager, and uh, we need to carefully choose our drive here, this one because uh, you know um, this uh, tool here will erase uh, or will format the uh, the flash drive. And again once uh, this has been formatted you won't be able to use this on anything else okay so once we have uh, choose the correct drive here let, let us uh, check it first okay so this is the one that we need the uh, drive g so let's uh, click here drive g okay and uh, choose uh, the um you know the image that we are going to use uh, uh, this is the latest version and uh, Oh, it provides uh, better stability compared to the previous one so once you have done that just click on right all right okay. all right so you will see here you know um it does not show any um <laughs> any information on the drive because we can only use this on the ps4 for the activation of the jailbreak you can no longer use this on anything else okay so i'm um, going back on the ps4 and um, now we're going to choose our i mean our method okay, so we actually have a different uh, we, we have a different video uh where we check different hosts so i will just uh, put that on uh, on our description uh, on our description so you can uh, uh pick for yourself uh, which one do you like all right so um to set up our new host uh here on the internet browser uh let's close the window you know, and delete all if you have just formatted your ps4 you, you don't have to do this but you have to do this in case you want to choose or use a different 
I'm host. All right. And delete cookies and clear website data. By the way, you need an internet connection for the first time on jailbreaking your PS4. And after the um, website data has been saved on your PS4, you no longer have to connect online. So, so you just need the uh, you you just need an internet connection on the first jailbreak. All right. And uh, every time you want to change your host. Okay. So before we proceed with the web host, uh, I strongly recommend to uh, modify our network. Okay, because uh, we need uh, to um, um, to use a DNS that can block uh, uh, the updates from Sony. Okay, so uh, here's the DNS here that we need. Uh, okay, let's just uh, show you the process how you do that. Okay, so we're going to use Wi-Fi. Just click whatever method that you're using here. Okay, just click on automatic do not specify and here the dns settings here we can uh, choose a, a specific dns that we need all right so we'll just provide you the uh the exact dns on our description and uh check no uh it should connect to the internet connect but it will definitely connect so we don't have to wait here but let us go go ahead and wait okay they're successful Okay, so uh, if ever you see that uh, dreaded message, you know, an update has been found. Unfortunately, it did not proceed because I have uh, blocked my update. You can just uh, delete it here. So option, then delete. Okay, so once we have, we are done with the uh, network configuration, we can proceed uh, with uh, our web hosting. And um, after we have deleted everything here, we can uh, enter the update or the address of uh, the host that we are going to use. Uh, and this time we are going to use Garo. And uh, we have different option here, but I will suggest this one. So uh, in case um, you have you need a tool that is not available here, I'll suggest this one. Okay, because uh, this one is the light ver version. So um, it just uses uh, the minimum uh, um, payload that we need. So it provides less, uh, you know, um, less error. So we'll just choose this one. So uh, it will save the um, you know the website data on our PS4. So we'll just have to wait for that. And after the uh, data has been saved, we can close. Uh, our, I mean, we can disconnect the uh, network connection. Okay, so here it's uh, saving. Let's wait for that. And uh, later we'll uh, disconnect. I mean, uh, we'll we'll uh, disconnect the network connection. By the way, I'm using the light uh, version. Is one of the things that. Uh, we need to uh, consider uh, i mean uh, we need to do if we want to um, increase the stability of your of your jailbreak okay so once uh, it has been done now we can uh, safely turn off the uh, the internet here and uh, here it will uh, go on without the internet connection and let's click on here okay well then wait did we not use ah uh, okay i think we have already uh you know i i just played last night and i just uh leave it on rest mode so uh let's just uh now let's restart going back on the ps4 well uh what i did was uh you know i left since i just played last night you know i left my ps4 on rest mode so that i won't have uh, to reactivate the jailbreak on my next game so uh, you can also do that if you want to skip the process of activating your ps4 every time you use them so um so let's go ahead and uh, reactivate our ps4 now okay so here on the internet browser so here it will load the last page that we used okay so um here on this part where it, where the ps4 asking for the usb you have to be very careful here we have uh, we cannot leave our usb dongle always plugged in the ps4 so every time we use them we have to unplug them and we have to re uh, plug them again exactly when the PS4 is asking for it. Okay. So. And after we plug uh, the uh, dangle, you know, we can't press anything. We have to wait for the specific message. This one. Okay. So here is where everybody is or some are having some trouble because as soon 
as they plugged in the USB, they press on OK. So we have to wait for that uh, for that notification there that we just saw before we press on OK. Alright, we fail. So uh, this is still a thing here. No, there is no such thing as perfect exploit yet on the PS4. But once it happens, you just have to uh, you, you just have to start it again. Now you can still uh, encounter this every once in a while, but uh, compared to the previous uh, firmware, you know this version right here is uh, so much stable. Okay, again this one. Okay, so um, once you see this message, it's time for us to press enter. Okay, so another note here. So others uh, sometimes they consider that as an error because uh, it says that the file is unsupported. But that is our cue to press OK. All right. So once the jailbreak is done, we can choose uh, the payload that we are going to use. And for now, we are going to use our golden to activate the jailbreak. Okay. So uh, we have other videos uh, for you uh, if you want no other stuff here how to use them so we can just check it on our uh, on our other videos but for now let's just go ahead and uh, you know activate our jailbreak and unfortunately i forgot <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. all right let's just do that again you know it's a you know it's a good opportunity for us to uh review <laughs> all right so you only have uh, to uh, and uh, I mean to insert your USB one, and uh, just click on the gold hand. Okay, so once you have seen this message and you are good to go, you are already jailbroken, and you can uh, you can verify that here. Okay, so for those who are not yet um, familiar with this one, so we need this uh, uh, bin loader server in case that you want to, uh, you know. Um, Put or you want to use uh, some uh, payloads using using some external devices, and uh, enable FTP server if you want to transfer files from your PS or from your PC or Windows to your PS4. And here in the package installer, um, uh, unfortunately I don't have anything ready here, but uh, we can use this to install some games on the PS4 or other um, payloads. Okay. So um, that's basically it. We have uh, already jailbroken our PS4. One important thing, you know, I have already mentioned it, but I want to uh, emphasize on this one. We have to remove our dongle every time we use our PS4. So whether it's a success or a fail, we have to remove our dongle. Right? Because uh, if we restart our PS4 with our dongle plugged in, you know, sometimes it can cause some um, error. Because uh, we have the exploit here. And... Um, Alright, so I think that's basically it. Now, if we have, uh, you know, if you have some questions that we're not able to discuss, kindly, uh, kindly leave them on the comment section, and I will definitely address them. Right, and uh, if you have uh, some issues or if you have a request, you know, for our next video, you can uh, uh, reach me on our on my Facebook page, and uh, you can leave me a message there. And again, this is Ali, and uh, thank you so much, and see you on the next video.